party, there's only one drink you need. Mount St. Laroque's Cabernet Sauvignon 2002. Our Cabernet Sauvignon is made from only the finest grapes of the Loire Valley, and that's how you know it's going to taste awesome. It's got nutty, oaky undertones with a hint of pepper that will blow your mind. It's also the official wine of the NFL, and what goes better with wings and burgers than a full-bodied red? Who? Me? What you, Sherry? Cabernet Sauvignon! And hey, if you love the taste of Cabernet Sauvignon, try Mount St. Barack's Light. Half the carbs with the same great taste. Mount St. Barack's Cabernet Sauvignon 2002! Baby! <laughs> The following program is brought to you in living color. One, two. This is Wine Nation TV. We're here today with Steve Cass from Cat. He's co-owner of Cass Vineyards and Winery in Paso Robles, California. How you doing today, Steve? Oh, very good. Welcome to Cass Winery. It's a beautiful winery. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in the wine business. Uh, I worked at a Charles Schwab for a long time. I started with them when they were a very small company back in 1980, and. By 1995, they got to be a pretty big company, and I started looking around for something to do on my own. I uh, came down to Paso Robles in 99, fell in love with the area, saw that there were vineyards all over the place, and saw that you could hire vineyard managers. You didn't have to really have an academic or agricultural kind of background to get in the business. So plan A was just to have a vineyard and spend have some free time. It was like a semi-retirement job. Uh, but then after, once the vineyard was up and... and producing fruit and we had customers to buy the fruit I just had you know way too much time on my hands and I, I could see that there is a simpatico between a winery and a, and a vineyard they work really well together if you have a little bit extra fruit in the vineyard at the end of the year well you have a place to put it a home to put it um, so they work well together well, we opened the winery then in 2005 the vineyard was planted in um, 01 first crop was 03 open the winery in 05. So we're now, you know, since we bought the property, 10 years into the project. Wow. What varieties of grapes did you guys plant? It's a 146-acre vineyard. We've got a lot of Cabernet. We've got Syrah. Uh, but what we are most proud of in, in, from a winery perspective is the, the Rhone varieties. Mm -hmm. So we have a Roussan, a Marsan. A Roussan's pretty rare around here. Yes. Marsan, a Viognier, Mauvedre, a Grenache. Uh, we have Petit Syrah, Petit Verdot, we have some Cab Franc, we have some Merlot, we have a little bit of Malbec. That's nice. That's nice. So the Rhone varieties, what made you choose those varieties? Uh, we're on the hot side of town. You know, Paso Robles is a really big appellation. It's about the size of Rhode Island. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, if you're on the other side of town, a little bit closer to the ocean, you get a lot more of a coastal influence. It's a lot cooler, uh, and depending on how far... Uh, west you go, it comes up pretty high up the side of the mountain. Part of it butts up against uh, York Mountain, where they can grow cool weather varieties like Pinot and others. Uh, we're on the hotter side of town. It gets real hot real fast. On, on days where it's 102 or 103 here, it'll cool down to 50 degrees at night. But at this very same day, if you're uh, up around Jack Creek, for example, it might be 80 or 85 during the day and then drop down to 50 at night. So you really want to grow hot weather uh, varieties. And Rhone varieties are virtually all hot weather varieties because the Rhone Valley is a hot area. You know, It's right on the Mediterranean in that southeastern corner of France. Right. And um, how would you describe your winemaking style? Is there a specific uh, Cass winemaking style? 
Um, well, I, I'm not actually the winemaker, but the way I describe it to people is uh, classic. Uh, we, we try not to let the alcohol go over the top, although in uh, Paso Robles that can be a challenge sometime. Uh, having a lot of heat, we never have a problem ripening fruit. So the temptation is to let the fruit hang and hang and hang uh, because it's going to give you bigger, fruitier uh, flavors, but it's also going to give you higher sugars, and higher sugars give you higher alcohol. Uh, the downside to that, obviously, is that five years down the road, the fruit flavorness will start to go away, the alcohol remains, and now it starts to taste a little hot on you. And so the reputation you developed over a number of years for making really great fruit-forward wines starts to go away with wines that, as they age, start to taste hot on you. Wow. So we've been uh, working down, uh, by Paso standards, 15% alcohol is relatively low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, first couple of years, we made a couple 17% alcohols, which you really didn't taste the alcohol at first because the fruit was so big. But a couple of years down the road, you start to taste the, the alcohol. ages and the fruit goes away a little. It goes away and the alcohol remains. So we're making most of our wines 14.5 to 15.5%. They've got big fruit on them, uh, but not really big alcohol, at least by Paso standards. Wow. And how large is your winery? Uh, we're about 6,000 cases. We'll probably process about 100 tons this year. Where do you see uh, the winery three, four, five years down the road? I don't see us getting too much bigger. You can see it's not really a huge facility here. Uh, we might get ourselves to 8,000 cases. We can pretty much break even uh, you know, in the 4,000 case range. So once we start selling more than 4,000, we can make a little bit of money. Uh, so 8,000, I think, will be profitable for us. It's now, do you sell some of your grapes to other wineries? Uh, we do. The, um, the vineyard will produce 500 to 600 tons. Uh, we use about 100 here. So I sell to uh, Justin, uh, buys the Cab Franc and Cabernet. Uh, Wild Horse takes some Cabernet. Um, Bridalwood uh, takes some Grenache. And another half a dozen small wineries. Uh, San Antonio down in Los Angeles uh, buys some grapes. Yeah. Hanna States up in Soledad, they, oh, yeah. they buy quite a bit. And tell us a little bit about, you have a tasting room, what are your hours and uh, what kinds of things can you do if you come and visit the winery? Well, you probably noticed when you came out here, we're, we're out in the middle of nowhere. So when uh, people call up and say, I, I think I drove too far, I tell them, well, then it's two more miles. <laughs> <laughs> and when, pe when people show up in the tasting room and, and uh, I ask them how they found us, and usually they have a map or another winery told them or a friend told them. But if it's not one of those things, they're either lost uh, or they just happened to be driving by and, and they saw the sign. So the first two years I was counting, you know, how many people told me they were lost. And they, they were leading the number of people that said, well, I just happened to be driving by and I saw the sign seven to six. <laughs> <laughs> um, so knowing we're hard to find, uh, we put in a full, full service, full scale commercial kitchen. And uh, this room that we're in right now, uh, we hold a lot of private parties. And in our barrel room, we hold bigger private parties. So uh, we're big believers in the food and wine pairing. So we have one of the very few wineries in town where you can get lunch served seven days a week. Uh, we're That's open, nice. We're open 12 to 5, Monday through Friday, and 11 to 6, Saturday and Sunday. And we do a food and wine pairing. So we, we have foods that match well with the wines. And when you buy the food, the wine comes with it. So you, you buy the two together because we're technically not a restaurant. I see. But it's a food and wine pairing that we offer. Hmm. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Steve. It's uh, Cass Vineyards and Winery in Paso Robles. Definitely worth a little bit of a drive to get to. A great place. Uh, Rhone wine, Rhone style wines, a terrific winery to come visit. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Good, perfect. You ready? Yep. Uh,